Good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. Good, wonderful day here in the city, the wonderful city of St. Louis, in the heartland of America, in the beautiful Midwest, here where we love our baseball. Now, there's a lot of talk these days about baseball, and it's exciting news. The St. Louis Cardinals have once again proven to the world that we are the champions. We are in charge of the baseball heavens. They come to us when they want good baseball and cold beer. But while all this talk about Albert Pujols, mighty Albert, David Freeze, hometown hero from Lafayette High School, so exciting. That's out in West County for all those who don't know where Lafayette High School is. My daughter goes to Kirkwood, by the way, go Pioneers. But um, I don't think it's David Freeze or Chris Carpenter or Albert Pujols or even that one-time manager, Tony La Russa. I think I ate in his restaurant once. Oh no, that's La Russa's. That's a different place. Tony, by the way, is a vegetarian and animal rights activist. And I think that's a key point because of this. With all those wonderful players and the history of the Cardinals, Bob Gidson, Lou Brock, Red Shandies, and Stan the Man. All that history and all these wonderful current players and current managers. We have to remember that this championship is not because of all those wonderful baseball players or managers giving signs that usually mean, I'm hungry and I want this game to be over. No, it's not ball players, it's not managers, it's not the heroes from the past. We have to thank a little rodent. That's right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This series was in the balance until a small squirrel came out. And there was a large field. The squirrel is only that big, it could have gone anywhere. But it bravely ran up and strode straight across home plate. Was this happenstance? Coincidence? I think not. This squirrel came to St. Louis. Nay, this squirrel is from St. Louis. This squirrel was born in the bowels of Bush Stadium. There's a whole family of squirrels that go back to the ballpark. The previous incarnation of squirrels Many generations of rodents, bushy-tailed rodents, that's really all they are, these squirrels are rodents. And he strode out, straight across home plate, went over to that Philly dugout and said, oh, no, 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 not this year, not on my watch. Now, why would a squirrel come to a ballpark? There are no oak trees, no acorns, no leaves of any kind. They busily clean up every day, putting out the chalk outlines, dusting home plate. There's no reason for a squirrel to come out to Bush Stadium. There's only one reason. Tony La Russa and his love of woodland creatures, they came out to support Tony in his hour of need. These woodland animals, they came from all over. They supported the team and one lucky individual strode across home plate, turned the tide, and now we have once again summited to the mountaintop, baseball heaven. We are champions. Everyone knows it. They don't like it. They don't like it in Boston. They don't like it in New York. They have all this money, all these stars, bright lights, skyscrapers. What do we have? Cornfields and cold beer and champion baseball teams. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, remember that when you fly over the heartland on your way to Los Angeles, and you're leaving Miami to go to Seattle, and you cross over the great Midwest, and you see below you that magnificent stadium by the river with its squirrel families, remember this is not a bad place to live. And it's a good place to be a baseball fan, a beer drinker, nay, a music lover. So, if you want good beer, fine music, and a championship baseball team, there's only one place to be, ladies and gentlemen. 
St. Louis, Missouri. Squirrel. <laughs> 